there was a massive asteroid hit the earth and melted the ice caps and then you can literally see the scars on the earth wow okay this really did happen i definitely walked away with more questions than answers the first one that really hit me was your Nikolai Tesla video because I had no idea that Tesla was this big genius and then talking about sending you down rabbit holes like the whole Tesla theory of why the pyramids were built it's a new rabbit hole and I can see by your videos as well that you're super into Randall Carlson and sacred geometry and all of those topics as well which is just that yeah that that's awesome yeah that Randall Carlson um all that the sacred geometry and and that those mysteries they really sent me on probably the deepest rabbit hole I've been on I've been on four or five trips out in the field with Randall Carlson, looking at geology around all around America. And eventually I went to Egypt as well, because I'm kind of like you, I want to go to these places firsthand and explore these mysteries and kind of just the more you explore the outer world, the more you kind of start to figure out your inner world, even though you'll never figure it out fully, but you kind of want to just keep pulling that thread. And that's the adventure of life. Wow, dude, I definitely can't move past that. So you went on trips with Randall Carlson. When you say trips, do you mean mushroom trips or do you mean actual trips out to the field? You weren't <laughs> tripping while you were on the trips, were you? No, I wish. <laughs> but uh, these were these were actual geology trips. So I first discovered Randall Carlson through the Joe Rogan podcast. I think it was episode 606. I probably watched it like five times where he talked about the end of the last ice age and climate change, but not in the way that we think of it. We look at climate change kind of in the last like 200 years since we've been really measuring the temperature. But what Randall Carlson does is he looks at it over hundreds of thousands of years deep into the ice age. And what you'll find is that in the last 12,000 years, we've been living in an extremely stable state of temperature. And if you go beyond this veil of the Younger Dryas is, is when it's the separation between the ice age and the, our current era. And in the ice age, the temperature was fluctuating like crazy. I mean, if you look at these ice core samples that they take out, where you can see the temperature each year, insane fluctuations. Fluctuations. So this blew my mind because I thought we were living in catastrophic climate change times. And I wanted to go and check out some of these sites where you can see scars on the earth. There's literally like giant scars on the earth from these massive catastrophes. And one of the things Randall Carlson always teaches about is that we have this notion that all change happens one grain of sand and one drop of water at a time. And that's just not true. When you go stand on the Grand Canyon, it's so clear that something huge happened here. And we have no idea. I mean, some of of these things happen in a day and they drastically change the earth in thousands of ways dude it's wild when you think about it and wait, what are the trips that you've done you said was egypt one of those four so randall carlson didn't go on the egypt trip but that was affiliated with everybody that goes on his trips we all went to egypt with um do you know the channel uncharted x yeah of course it's run by a guy named ben yeah yep. so he, he was on rogan he recently. Those trips uh he runs that trip it's a really awesome trip it's a bit expensive but you get special access to all these sites that are not open to the public so we got to go inside the great pyramid in the middle of the night and no go to way. the king's chamber queen's chamber go into the subterranean area and some of these areas are not open to the public. Really amazing stuff. So what's it like in there? I mean, when I think about that, when I think about going into the chambers of the pyramids, I can just, like, I'm thinking about the mummy. I'm thinking about, like, it must be haunting and spooky. And, like, you know that where the place where you're standing is one of the biggest mysteries in history and throughout ancient history. So what's it like standing in there? Well, from the first time, I've only been there once, but it, it's just, like, it's overwhelming. So you really can only just sit back and just be in awe and, and wonder like, why did they build? Like you have so many questions that you almost just, you're just amazed. A lot of the people that had been there multiple times were like taking measurements and they had all these little tools and they were weighing things and checking the air humidity. And they were trying to figure out what kind of rock everything was. And I, I almost like was just trying to take it all in, but there's quite a few mysteries there. And I definitely walked away with more questions than answers. Yeah, right. And so Randall Carlson, I've seen him do a, a on Rogan, he had that episode where he broke down, I think it was called the Channel Scablands in the USA. And you, you can literally see the scars on the earth of where the theory is that there was a massive, like a catastrophic event, a cataclysm. I think it was that like an asteroid hit the earth and melted the ice caps. And then there was just this force of nature that ripped through the Channel Scablands. And when he describes it, you're picturing in your head, like just the weight of the world and just rocks and debris and water and everything just ripping through the land and creating these like 
like scars in it. It's just, it's wild to think about. Have you been to the Scablands? Yep, many times. And Randall does about two trips a year to the Scablands and I've been on one of them. I hope to go on another one with him, but anybody can go on those trips. They're open to anybody. And uh, that one's a, a awesome trip because you really, the landscape, it doesn't have any vegetation on it really. So you really can stand on these bluffs and see, wow, okay, this really did happen. And there's certain features of the land that kind of like a beach where you'll see when a wave comes in and out, you'll see those ripples. You know how, how uh, the sand mm. makes those little ripples? Now times that by like a million and you'll you'll be standing on a bluff and you'll see those ripples and those those ripples will be like 50 to 100 feet high. Mm. And, you know, you clearly see this is a water feature of water rushing through this area and scraping away things. One of the cool features is there's these giant boulders that have been stripped from the mountains about a hundred miles away. And those boulders got ripped up by giant icebergs the size of oil tankers and <laughs> taken to these fields. And then the, the ice settles and melts. And so you just have these giant rocks the size of a three-story house. And we'll go to these farms and the farmers, they have no idea why this rock is there. We'll talk to the farmer and he's like, this thing is just in the way of my tractor. <laughs> and we're like, we'll tell him the story and he'll, he'll, he'll have a completely different vision of what that rock means now. But it's, it's a pretty cool trip and it, it blew my mind for sure. If you enjoyed that reality-based podcast clip, make sure to subscribe to the reality-based YouTube channel. We'll be uploading many clips and the full podcast. And also, if you prefer the audible version, you can check us out on Spotify and Apple Podcasts at Reality Based.